Hey there, so I have my thoughts on the new A.H. Norvina collection. This is volume number four. It's actually what I'm wearing on my eyes today. Hopefully that was a good view there. Here are the shades. Now, um, some of these are, they swatch all right, but you can't really tell how it's going to apply to the swatches sometimes. So I will have an insert at the end of this of some of those swatches. And this is just swatch number on my arm, so. And I also have the Norvina Water Activated Liners. I haven't used this set yet, but. I did use the pink one, and I am a beginner to these. See, you can see where I used it. I used that. It still looks wet. If you can see that, focus. Um, they do have a slight paint smell, but nothing overwhelming. And the liner actually applied very nice. Now, this is about the only lighting you're going to see me doing because I wear glasses. I might have astigmatism both eyes, but I found it quite easy to work with. And I use the Airbrush Ultra Fine Liner number 130 from uh, the Ick It Cosmetics. Yes, that's it. That's what I use for the tip. And you see a little pink there that I used earlier this morning. This has been on since 3.30, and you can see it's, it's lasted all day, but I quite like it. So I'm wearing the electric pink today, and I found these easy to work with, and I am a beginner uh, for water-activated liners, so that actually wasn't too bad. I will say some of the shimmers take some build up and they're not as, well, bam in your face, you know what I mean? So there's that. Um, I did have lipstick on that I ate, but it's lazy, so I didn't reapply it. But that's okay. But that's what I will tell you what I'm wearing, I guess, in my crease. I have C5 right on the inner. Right here and I have B2 which is on the outer edge and we have C3 on the in, in the side of my crease and B4 on the outer crease to just put it all in. I've gotten really <clears throat> really I've gotten real into mixing like two shimmers in here so there's that. I'll swatch the shades I used so that is C5. That is C3. As you can see, it's a little, oh, just, just, you know, just, I guess you would say like a satin shimmer. And you have B2. Some of these watch real good and some of them just don't. This is B4. As you can see, B4 has that poof in your face. So there's what's a little more work today. But that's, that's about it. Just a quick review. I guess I, oh, let me swatch the yellow too. When I'm done, I lied. So that's just the faint yellow. But if you do like a, if you just build it up, um, they would be. Okay, haven't tried yet, but I bet you on your crease with a white concealer base, it would look real pretty. Guess we go ahead and do that one too. You know, we ain't done. I wasn't fully prepared. I'm never fully prepared. So I'm using C C zero from Jeffree Star for the white base. And then we will swatch it there, okay. It's 
the semi wrapped in. I'm gonna, you know, wipe it. I don't know why I'm being so quiet for. I'm not waking anybody up. Maybe I'm just tired. I don't know. Who knows? My hair's looking a little nuts, you know. It's a nine hour work shift there. Alright, so that's dry. So we'll see how this applies with the on the concealer. Okay, so that is oh I get my arm in there. See that's on the concealer, it's a little brighter on the white concealer. I don't look too bad. I don't look bad at all. And before I go, let me wipe off this arm. I will show you all the matte shades. From top row to bottom row. I guess I'll just insert swatches now. So we have A4. B2, B3, oh man, look at where we can't see them. Uh, here we go. B5, C2, C5, then we go to D2, which I just showed you that one, D2, then we go E1, E4, and then E5, that's E5, so those are our mats. Now we'll go to the shimmers, starting with A1, so that's A1, whoa, A2, oh, can you see that blinding? My hand is dry too. So here we go. B1. Then we have B4. C1, this is two swipes for C1. C3, kind of got that going into that one. And we have D3. Oh, that's a nice gold. We have D4. So that is all of our shimmers. That's so pretty. And then this one kind of looks like a shimmer, but it's not really a shimmer. It's kind of like, I guess you would call it satin. And that is C4. Kind of a mass shade. We forgot that one, I believe. Maybe I thought it was a different kind of kind of shadow there. Did I get A3? I don't remember if I swatched A3. I don't know the confusion. Well, if 
I didn't swatch A3. Or is there's A3? Oh no, I'm polluted with glitter. Okay, so our last two shades are the glitter shades. This is E2. E2. Oh boy. Is that pretty? That's what I Oh man. I have glitter everywhere, but that's okay. And E3. That's E3. Whoa. It's not bad. Show them. See what they look like on the eyes. We'll do E2 on this eye. That's E2. I don't want glitter glue, so I'll probably have to invest in that. Now we'll put E3. On the other side. That's watched. Alright. So, I'm guessing if you had glitter glue, it would probably be way, way prettier. More like oomph. I'm looking for. Also, that's dried down and it's taking a minute. Oh, there we go. So, you know, it does dry down. So, there's that. That's not bad. Get another makeup wipe, you know, because I'm all glittery here. For now, uh, we're just going to do swatches off the back of my hand. So, I'm trying to swipe my wrist there because obviously I just I go all through here <laughs> and we get nowhere. Like some half swatched swatches. Well, that was that swatch. I still got glitter on me. And that's right, kind of boring. Apparently, I am not that enthusiastic on camera. So, we'll do back of the hand swatches for the lion wrist. I'm just going to use just one of my setting sprays. I just used tap water earlier today. So I'm just going to use it on my brush. So. so this is our electric pink. So it takes a little bit of build up. Okay, oh, lost the lid. Gotta get that, I'll find it later. What I'm doing right now is I'm just gonna pre spray these real quick. I'm just spraying my finger, by the way. And then just patting onto the liner. That's what I'm doing. That way I can show the shade. Found the lid. Oh, so that was a electric pink. Electric yellow. See where the pink and yellow kind of mix together? My bad. Made no orange. So 
If you don't want the white or purple, but you want orange, pink and yellow makes orange. To call it class today. And we're gonna go into green. There's our green. So pretty. Now you just need like a little tiny dot of water or setting spray setting spray works just fine too and we go into orange now orange was having a day that is nice as you can see the yellow is pretty a little opaque there's that or white one, that's the one I'm excited for. Well, I'm excited for all of them, but what? There's a white, whoa, it's nice. And then our last one. There's the purple. And they do have a quick dry down. So there is some purple. So these are our electric liners. Not bad. And I'm just using the It Cosmetics. This brush was only 12 bucks and I got it at Ulta. And for the palette and the liners, support. Took about two weeks to get here, so it'd be a bit of a later video. That's okay. I can never watch too many of the same reviews. So as you can see, that's where I dipped into a um, they'll dry, it just looks like they're not dry. But I have no complaints. And then you can use them in the waterline. I can't remember which YouTuber I've seen use it on the waterline. But you can. I've seen it. I'm trying to think of who I've seen do that. I don't remember. But before I get distracted again, like I just was and now in the video so thanks for watching